Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Tonight's video, I'm going to show you a way to move an object. Somebody asked me on an email, sometimes I use Control D, sometimes I just hit the plus key, and why I do them sometimes and don't the other. Well, the one reason I would use the plus key in like this case right here, I'm going to hit the plus key and move it over here. And then I'm going to hit the plus key and move it over here. And you're done. Now, if I did not do that, let me make sure I just got one copy of that and I don't. If I use control D and I put it there and I control D and put it, well, I've got my, and purposely I have a duplicate distance on zero or 25 because I was going to show a reason. So I'm going to hit control D and make a duplicate and put it there. But when I hit control D again, it puts it equally spaced apart. So if I take this line and just hit the plus key, I can nudge it over a quarter of an inch. If I hit the plus key again, it doesn't do anything, but I can nudge it over a quarter of an inch. The good thing in this case, the good thing about control D is if I go control D and move this a quarter of an inch, all I have to do is hit control D and it'll keep moving a quarter of an inch. Now, the other aspect of that, if I hit control D and move it over this amount and then I go control D again, it'll space it out perfectly. Now the other, and I thought, well, I'll just make a video on the other ways to move stuff. So if there's control C, which is copy, and then you can move it over here, well, and go control V and make a duplicate. So I didn't have to move it. So control C to copy, control V to do a uh, paste it basically. So V is for paste. So I, I'm doing kind of the same thing. Now with that said, the other way to do it is to just, if you move it and then hit your space bar, every time you hit the space bar, it's gonna draw another line and then you can always hit T and put them to the top. So you can use a space bar basically to make duplicates. The other two ways are dockers. We're gonna go to dockers and we're gonna go to transform and I'm gonna grab this line and I'm gonna set the X on a quarter of an inch and I want 12 of them. Whenever Corel says copies, it's going to give you 11 copies. So if we look, there are 12 objects as it had the original. And you could set this at anything you wanted. You could set it uh, one inch apart, and it'll make that many 12 lines one inch apart. Now, the other way is step and repeat, which is a hotkey, which is like control shift. R, I think, but we could go to the step and repeat Docker and it does the same thing. This is a pretty cool, powerful Docker. Space between objects, a quarter of an inch, to the right, vertically, no offset. I want 11 copies. I hit that and it put me 11 copies, 11 inch apart. You can, but what's so not only good about it, you can offset it or have space between the objects, which in this case would be kind of the same because it's a hairline. So those are many ways that you can uh, make a copy of something or move something. You know, we could make this one inch and hit 11 and it's gonna put it one inch a half. Now what's good about step and repeat, you could actually have it go uphill a quarter of an inch. So it did that, and they're a quarter inch apiece, and they're vertically one inch apart. Anyway, just some ideas. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.